quick. Everybody, you're on <laughs> Artist on Record, your ultimate intimate conversation with your favorite artist. I am Adika, and today in the hot seat, Bob Halligan Jr., songwriter. Well yeah. Kiss, Kicks, Judas Priest, Cher, a lot going on. Even the Howard Hughes of rock and roll, he appeared, Donnie Purnell. He has a new record coming out, and you <laughs> worked with it right now. And if Donnie, you're watching this, wow, I want I, you I, on the show, Donnie, uh, too. He, you know? Do, Donnie, I'm sure he'll, well, well, you never know. I'm not sure of anything. Don't speak for Donnie, but no, Donnie, I shan't. Donnie, you and I went to two different schools. I'm a big fan of your band, your former band, your new music. I think is really great. This is yeah. Artist on Record. If it's your first time here, subscribe. What are you waiting for, you crazy kids? And yeah. stop with the alligator arms. Buy a cup, buy some merch, and also get Donnie's new record. I'll put links for that. And whatever Bob's doing, we're going to talk about all this. You'll get to know about Bob. Donnie, Stefan, Don, and Marie. It's all happening now on Artist on Record. Uh, thank you for coming on the show. Oh, it's, yeah. This is it, good fun already. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and trusting me, you know, trusting me. And uh, yeah. got your name for uh, people who are not watching a lot of people don't maybe they don't read the credits like i used to you know you yeah. stare at a record you get lost in it sure. as a beatle fan i yeah. want to know everything oh, yeah. Yeah. from which beetle to mal evans even being on there you know <laughs> maxwell yeah. silma hammer but yeah. uh your name has been in the business for quite some time yeah growing up in brooklyn back in the day there was yeah. an album that meant something to me and i played bass so i used to and a, one of my favorite bass players was donnie Purnell. Yeah. Ultimate bass player, ultimate songwriter. He had a Les Paul bass, which I was mesmerized by. Like, I got to get that. I wanted to be Donnie because I thought he was shorter and I was taller, you know. But, yeah. <laughs> but, um, amazing songwriter. And then he disappeared. I'm like, what happened to him? And, and, you know, and I love Kicks, the sound that they did. And Donnie was, everybody has a Donnie. The Ramones had Johnny Ramone structured the band and Donnie was the guy that mm -hmm. structured Kicks. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Totally. But you, uh, you, not only you did it, you just recently, a new record called Hooray with Donnie. You put out, yep. which is I've got it right here on the screen. I don't know if you're screen. I see it, this, but and, uh, yeah. you see it and maybe no one else does. I see it. I see it. Hooray. It's called Hooray. Yeah. Great. So, but he, he's like, he's almost like, I would say Donnie is the Izzy Stradlin. How would you use a rock and roll? Like he's <laughs> Izzy, what Izzy was for kicks because uh, for, for Guns N' Roses because Donnie's, all his songs and and uh then he disappeared and he's like where's donnie where's i always want to know what's he doing what's happening so yeah when i find him and i found your name and then you wrote big songs for kicks don't close your eyes yeah so midnight dynamite this one this goes on <laughs> so I'm here to kiss your ass to tell you how great you are. Oh, and perfect! How happy I am you're here. Enough me chatting away. Let's talk to you first. Let's talk about Hooray, the the most recent project that you just worked with Donnie. How long have you been doing that for? Yeah, uh, Donnie and I started that, and I will say, speaking of the the Howard Hughes of rock and roll um, aspect of Donnie, uh, we made this whole album and never even spoke on the phone, never mind we're in the same room together. And we worked on it for two and a half or three years. So what happened was um, he sent me an email and I sent him a thing I was working on for my band, Kaylee Rain. For you. Mm -hmm. And he said, uh, wow, that sounds really great. I've been writing a lot of songs in these 20 some years since kicks and you can say no, but it'll break my heart. Would you please produce the record of this for me? And, uh, God bless him. He had these fantastic songs and we plowed ahead doing all our communication via email and sending the tracks through the internet. Never once spoke until he came up from his home in West Virginia to my home in Syracuse. So we did 
a celebratory kind of, you know, a rap yeah. party for the record. And it's the first I'd laid eyes on him in five or six or seven years. And those were the first words we had regarding this album. And it was done. And uh, there we were in the flesh in my driveway. And it, so it was kind of a surreal <laughs> thing. And yet you have to say it with a straight face for anyone to believe that that's how you guys did that. But that's how we did it. guys did that but that's how we did it that's how you did it so wow so all fun all, all of a sudden there is donnie right in front of your face yeah <laughs> he, he did he have a big beard i mean i'm not no saying, he, he looks the same he looks the same he looks the same as he always has yeah he's probably one and a half pounds heavier maybe but no more than that he's that same wiry um nutty beautiful human being whom i love very much and uh uh we you know we just have a a, a thing we have a bond yeah. and uh uh through thick and thin type of deal and he trusted me and i trusted him and and it worked out great so amen to that amen to, you did a fantastic record you know because it's if anybody's gonna listen to it i'm gonna put the links down below i actually put links in my previous interviews where i had uh, Ronnie and Brian Forsythe, Ronnie Yonkins and Brian Forsythe, and I was asking them about is anybody talking there? It, it's like everybody's afraid to say anything because you know, oh sure, you know, but they all give Donnie the respect and love, yeah. and um, yeah. you know, uh, as a fan of the band, you know, and Donnie's a big part of it. His songwriting, his bass style, me being a bass player, I was so interested. And the, the question for me personally, what I want to know is, does he still have that great, cool? Based, well, based. you know, I haven't seen it in a room, um, that, but I've heard like it on the tapes. That you heard it on the yeah. tapes. Yeah. Um, okay. You know, it's a, it's a short scale bass. Mm -hmm. um, and there were certain songs that he really felt the short scale bass with him playing it with a pick, which is what he always did in kicks, um, was the right sound. And then there were other songs where me playing with my fingers on a full scale bass, um, I think it's an Ibanez that I have. It's a purple thing that I won't waste your time running yeah. to get and show you. Um, and and that had a bigger, fuller sound uh, force and was right for certain songs. So we went back and forth. We it was, it was uh, a bass tag team, and uh, but he would write the song and send me in some cases it was a f if they were older songs that he had done pretty full recordings of he would send me those and if they were newer ones he would just send me voice um acoustic or electric rhythm guitar maybe some licks in there and maybe you know a little drum machine and stuff but and then i would build it out from there and he'd comment we'd go back and forth back and forth and um, I had a drummer here in Syracuse named Robbie Spagnoletti, who played all the tracks. Fantastic. Did it in his living room studio. Never saw him. <laughs> we just communicated via email. <laughs> and um, so the first we all saw each other was this day he came up. Yeah. And uh, Jeremy Johnston was the engineer um, who did the mixing and the mastering. He did speak to Donnie. I think he had to uh, do some remedial Pro Tools computer kind of stuff for Donnie. And then Donnie's pal, John, down there, um, John Moore, uh, did the engineering for and with Donnie. And so it was kind of a team where we'd all just chip in what we could do and what we did know. And we we're all somewhat limited other than Jeremy Johnston kind of knew all the audio stuff mm -hmm. and he could be our uh, last port of call if we were just totally befuddled and throwing our hands in the air. Uh, but otherwise, it's, uh, I would chip in my bits and Donnie would do his bits. But Donnie was the, you know, he was the 
the birth mother. He, he was the progenitor of the whole thing. They are his songs and his lead vocals. And, um, you know, he's a monster talent. And, uh, uh, yeah. I, I, you know, he and I go back to like 1983 or four, somewhere in there, 84, 85. How did I don't you guys remember. meet? How did you guys, uh, um, long story short, tapes of mine trying to get an artist deal were brought to Atlantic records. They didn't hear me as an artist, but loved me as a songwriter collaborator. Um, Richard Steinberg, who was the kicks a and R guy for Atlantic records said, Bob, would you write with Donnie Purnell from kicks? I said, we'll give it a whack. And these two nutty guys meet Bob and Donnie and, uh, we hit it off right away. And he knew exactly what he wanted to do. And I found ways that I could be the expediter of his dreams, if you will. And um, well, a lot of good things happened. And, and of course, the culmination in Kick's world was the Don't Close Your Eyes moment. He had written the song, the beginnings of the song with John Palumbo from Crack the Sky. And we had done it that way on another song. Uh, walking away was the mm -hmm. name of that one on uh, midnight dynamite, I think. Mm -hmm. And, uh, he came to my apartment in Brooklyn with this song somewhat done, not fully done. And I added my bits and pieces and, and Bob's your uncle there, there it went, you know, and there it is on my wall someplace. I got to move my head out of the way. I got a big head. Now I, I'm all reversed here. Okay. There's 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 donnie's record right that's there. don't close your eyes and then i think below it oops is uh the album but the any album. event yeah it 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 was a, a wonderful success that kind of snuck up on all of us and very happily so so That's all we have time for today, but in the meantime, you could click on the link right here and get Donnie Purnell's newest album, Hooray, and if you want to catch this episode right this second unedited, become a member right here on YouTube. We'll be releasing more clips from my conversation with Bob, so make sure you hit the bell to be notified, and also check out Kelly Rain, Bob's project that he uh, just released, along again with Donnie's newest album. I know you want to see some more episodes. Well, make sure you click on the box that pops up right here. Until then, everybody, we'll catch you all later. Thanks for being here. Who loves you, baby? We do.